Are you struggling to stay sober? Today, I had somebody reach out to me who recently had a slip and they're really, really struggling. They don't know what to do, how to get back on track. So I made a list of suggestions to help them and I wanna share with you guys some of the things that we talked about. So one of the things that I find to be the same across the board is that a lot of the times people don't reach out to me for help until after the fact. They, they don't snitch on their addiction. What do I mean by that? Snitching on your addiction is when you start to feel bad, when you start to struggle with thoughts of using, when you start to feel stressors that you don't know how to cope with, when you start feeling like you can't handle something, you reach out for help, you talk to somebody that knows how to handle those things, you reach out to people in recovery and you tell on your disease. You talk about what's going on inside of your mind before what, before what is going on inside of your mind becomes an action. Because the thoughts, honey, we can deal with the thoughts. But after you take action and you've already gotten high, that's after the fact. And that's when most people come to me when they're already hurting and they've already made the decision and gone out and gotten high. From now on, I need you guys to stop and start snitching on your addiction. I need you to call me beforehand. I need you to text me beforehand. I need you to DM me beforehand because that way I can help you. I can help you weather the storm. I can help you go through what you're going through so you don't pick up. Some great things that can help you if you're struggling with stress from work. You know, assertive communication. It's okay to say no to your boss. It's okay to not pick up that extra shift. You know, a lot of us are people pleasers and we want to do whatever we can to show our bosses that we're the best workers. But in order to protect your sobriety, you have to take time for you. Another thing, let's say you're having relationship issues. Communication, communication, communication. Sit down and talk to your significant other. If you and your significant other have a hard time communicating, bring in a third party to mediate. Somebody that can sit down, listen, that's not emotionally connected to both of you guys, that can help you guys in your decision making and help you guys with any turmoil or disagreements that you guys have. Are you dealing with mom shame, mom guilt, guilt and shame, feeling like you're not good enough? Get to those affirmations. Get you a list of affirmations Write those things down on every single mirror you have in your house, and I want you to be reciting them every single morning. I want you to wake up saying, I'm beautiful, I'm worthy, I'm smart, I deserve recovery, I deserve peace of mind, I deserve to have everything good in life because I am a chosen child of God. That's what I need from you. The shame and the guilt, that's only going to keep you sick. Listen, I get it. I have a lot of shame and guilt still that's attached to my son, but every single day I work hard, hard, hard to get through that shame and guilt. That shame and guilt don't keep me sick anymore. And that's what I want you guys to get to a point where you're not sick from shame. It's okay to have a little mom guilt. We all do, but you're a good mother. I also want you to tell yourself that over and over and over again, I'm a good mother. I was made perfectly for my child. Me and my child were made for each other, okay? And work through that because you are not alone. I hope these tips help you guys. And like I said, start snitching on your addiction before you use. Before you use, you guys. We got to start digging deep and using those coping skills. I hope this helps.